The athletes have been coming up every day this week at 8, other than the one day it snowed. This week they came out later. Jan was setting the downhill anyway, and they came out and inspected that day late morning. But other than that, they've been coming up here at 8 um, while it's cold and frozen up. There's a lot of variety in this hill, so there's some gliding sections as well as incredibly sustained steep sections. So it, I think it's going to take a really well-rounded skier to win here. Um, there's some skiers that um, are very good on really steep terrain and very powerful skiing, but then they don't do so well on gliding. And the men's trail is that way too with the flyway. Um, signature sections for me are kind of the section right by the pump house, which we'll go back around and watch. Um, I mean, that's a very intimidating section and very difficult skiing. Uh, and then right down below at the bottom where we stopped the last time, below Westfall Road, um, I think the run out into uh, red tail to the red tail jump will be really critical because if you don't carry speed out of the, those last series of rolls onto the flat, you probably lose the race right down there. So it's going to feel just like the men's trail in certain ways. You'll start off with a flat section of gliding and then all of a sudden, like at the brink, it gets very steep. And then for me, when we did the layout, it was really about just uh, worrying about course setting. What we have on the hill today is the preliminary downhill course set that Jan Tischhauser set yesterday and the day before. So this is the beginnings of the women's downhill for the World Championships. Um, and the ladies trained on it yesterday. They got four or five runs of downhill on it yesterday. They're gonna do the same today. So this whole section of trail was pretty much existing uh, already. The whole trail above us was normal. What we just came through was, was new cut last year. Right below us is the Golden Eagle Pump House. And we knew right from the beginning that this would be a really unique part of this trail. And it's uh, very challenging. It gets very tight down in the bottom. And uh, we think for the World Championships, it'll be absolutely spectacular downhill and super G through here. And uh, it was fun to watch the ladies ski it yesterday. It's really fun. We have not named any sections here on the women's trail yet, uh, but we'll get to that pretty soon. Below us is the main portion of the trail that we is entirely new. Um, and this is Kestrel, so just below us is the new trail we call Kestrel. And uh, there's probably 14 to 15 acres of cutting that we did from here down to the exit on the lower Peregrine. And uh, when we laid it out, it was interesting because we, you know, we, we left some wide pockets in the hill for turns and, and we had a plan on downhill course setting and things like that even, even when we were designing the trail. And, and uh, it was great the last couple days because when, when Jan Tischhauser set the downhill, um, it was fun to see that his course set matched up to our vision of it, turn for turn. Um, they're, they're working hard to control speed in downhill these days, so it's not too fast. And uh, this is a very round downhill because it's so steep, right? And it's very consistent. It's extremely sustained terrain. And so the course will be set rounder to control speed. What did you and Jan talk about in terms of setting the course this week? Uh, that was uh, quite a bit of discussions. I know that uh, um, there's, I believe in downhill is downhill and you have big sweeping turns and Super G is another event. And sometimes he puts in um, some turns like wiggle gates and, uh, and things like that and shortens up some distances. And, uh, and that's all fine, but to me I think that's a different event and that's the Super G. And I want to see downhill still be downhill. That's just my opinion. It's, it's steep, it's follow away turns, there's terrain, there's speeds, there's all sort, all the great elements that you see in, uh, in good downhill. And so uh, I wouldn't say there's one particular spot. I think there's going to be a lot of spots that are going to be exciting. What type of racer does this play to? Ones that are, are, are tough as nails. You know, I think it's important to be, uh, be uh, strong and committed is, uh, um, I guess, the way to put it. Uh, it's, it's not going to be one for uh, the weak of heart. <laughs> How would you say that this course stacks up to some of the other ones on the, on the World Cup circuit? It's definitely more on the tough side. It, for, for sure it has a bit of everything, uh, but it's definitely on the tougher side. I think there's going to be some other people coming here with some wide eyes at the end of November this year.
know, there is some flats to it, but it drops off and it turns a corner and it stays really moderate. You have to be on it. You have to be on the new ski and arcing and pushing yourself if you want to be up there on the podium. So it's definitely nice to have a good look at it and know what some of the stuff feels like going into the slot now and knowing what some of the speeds are in the course. The slot in there right now is pretty narrow, but they're going to be taking some, some trees out of there. So coming in next season, it's going to be a lot more open and feel a little bit more comfortable, I think. Yeah. So this week, were you guys, I mean, where were you going? 70%, 80%? What, what were, you, were you charging pretty hard? or what were I you think doing there? at times myself, I was trying to put it down, but today the light was a little flatter and it's the last training day of the season. And I kind of want to go home in one piece, get some of the things mending, sure. the little problems that I've been having. So... I'm just happy to be going home and looking forward to next season and glad that we got this opportunity here in Beaver Creek. Basically my second day on downhill skis ever, so they definitely feel different, but um, I feel like I got used to it pretty quick and I'm really enjoying going fast, so it's been cool. Second day ever on downhill skis? Yeah. Really? Okay. Well, I was on, I, I was on downhill skis in Sochi for like a run, mm -hmm. but otherwise, yeah, it's second day. My goals next year are still in GS and Slalom, um, and then the season after I'll move into Super G and maybe downhill, but um, I'm not I'm not rushing it. I really, I can't wait to do speed, but I'm not rushing it because I know that there's a lot of injury risk and I have more that I want to accomplish in tech. First impressions, definitely intense in your face. Um, you're going to have to be really strong to handle a lot of the forces that we're going to be facing. And it's not super high speed, but um, in order to control the steepness of the hill, they're setting a lot of turns. And so there's a lot of technique work I need to do this summer as well. And yeah, it's, it's a challenging course. Their tendency is to set it really turny, um, which allows some of the GS and Super G skiers to pop in there in the downhill. So I was out there fighting for the rights of the downhillers. <laughs> we want to go fast, we want to go straighter. It's definitely a challenge. It's um, It's got a lot of terrain changes and it's got some really steep sections. It's got some good rollers, it's got chutes, it's got some good side hills. It kind of has a little bit of everything. Um, and it's it's definitely in your face. It's I would say it's more technical than most of the other courses that we run on this circuit. It was a great camp. It was really, really fun to get on that hill to have that advantage to you know run the course for next season and for world championships in 2015 and it felt really good. It's a, it's a challenge for sure, but I think that's something that we're really good at stepping up to, so we're all psyched on it.